All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we have a new Marvel uh, Mini Mates box set, uh, comic based. Uh, these, you know, other than the turtles, well, I'm GI Joe. God, there's a lot of good stuff right now. But like, I always love Marvel Mini Mates. It's the whole reason I started collecting um, Mini Mates was the Marvel sets. So you know, any any time one comes out, it's amazing. Uh, any time they give us a character that's not produced, uh, that is also amazing. Uh, and I have a big enough Marvel collection now to where there isn't a whole lot of original characters, uh, you know, left that I really, really want. Uh, so, Faye, so on top of coming out with a couple that I do like in this set, uh, I actually am starting, I've started to appreciate doubles uh, of classic characters, different versions of different characters, and we get a couple really good ones uh, in this box set. So... Uh, Daredevil's always kind of been, <laughs> I, I, I love Daredevil, like, I collected the, I ended up buying the Kevin Smith uh, run, just because, you know, I was such a huge Kevin Smith fan at that point in time, I never really got into Daredevil, uh, and I liked it, it was a bit wordy, but I really did like that, was it 6 or 12 issue run, I forget, I think it was 12 issues maybe, uh, and just because I liked that so much, I went into uh, the, the Bendis stuff, uh, and say what you will about Bendis, but his Daredevil uh, era is absolutely fantastic. Like, I, I really don't like his X-Men runs. Uh, his Ultimate Spider-Man was good. It was okay for uh, Elseworld. Um, but, I, I like I said, I, I hated the X-Men. But but his Daredevil run is, is one of my favorite. It's probably my favorite Daredevil run there is. Uh, at that point, actually, I did read the Miller, uh, Frank Miller, uh, three trade paperbacks. The complete collection. Uh, I had read those by then, and I really enjoyed that. Uh, but the Bendis run, and then the Brubaker run, uh, everything through there. Uh, that's my era of of Daredevil. Uh, I actually stopped after about, uh, you know, the uh, yeah. I stopped after the Brubaker run. Uh, so I really have no idea what's going on. I, I don't know what's going on with the Electra Daredevil. Um, or that bullseye costume design, and I take it this kingpin is from probably from the same storyline or something. Uh, but yeah, I just I have a good run of of Daredevil and the Frank Miller ones. Daredevil Yellow, I have two. I think I fall from grace, uh, and that's enough. Like I I don't need to expand any more on that. I always have good Daredevil stories to read. So, um, but yeah, uh, back to this box set. You know, you know again. I've been saying this on every one that they've done these crazy uh, awesome box sets on uh, that I'm really coming around on. <laughs> um, you know, I like I, I've always said I'll take my my mini mates in a box or in a Ziploc bag, save me ten bucks, whatever. Uh, but these these box sets are just fantastic. I never keep packages. I've been keeping these. Uh, they kind of look good on a bookshelf if you file them away like a, a book. You know, it just looks like the binders and stuff. I actually kind of like that. Uh, look to it, but yeah, it's got a cool, some cool art in the inside. Um, you know, that's obviously based on. It lo really looks like it's based on the Frank Miller run, uh, just with different versions of those characters. On it, like I said, it's a great box set, but um, not much on the back. Just you know, their names and everything else. On um, that's about it. But yeah, great, great box set. Let's uh, open it up and take a look at the tree. Yeah, oh my gosh, you guys, this is, <laughs> this is such a great set. Uh, these figures are are all fantastic, just looking at the tray. Like, I'll get into it later when I get them on the table, but uh, on the turntable. But, I mean, just looking at it, opening it up and looking at it, uh, the Daredevil, you know, radar effect, uh, his his cable thingy, whatever, the the, bo the Boca Sticks is that what they're called, but uh, the clubs with the, the line on them is just... Amazing, uh, you know, all their faces look great. There's just there's so much here. You got like you got three weapons uh, for for Bullseye plus a slip cover mask. Uh, you got a couple accessories for Typhoid Mary. Um, you know, just just making sure you get her her flame and her sword and stuff. Uh, this is just such a nice looking uh, uh, set. Uh, they really packed a lot in here. Um, yeah, just it's just great. Um, yeah, let's get them on a turntable and get a closer look. All right, so here they are uh, up close, uh, the group of them. You know, this this video is going to sound like I'm um, 
kissing butt uh, towards uh, you know Diamond Select, but man, th this is just such a great set. Uh, just how well every character is painted. Uh, Electra is just kind of mind blowing. How much they got the windswept look uh, to her, her hair uh, pieces. Uh, even Typhoid Mary's uh, hair piece is just it's kind of something else compared. You know, it's from the Marvel Comics Presents character design, and it's such a crazy, uh, awesome character design. I actually have a really good custom of her uh, that I made myself, and it was, uh, and it's one of my favorite customs. Uh, and this is a completely different version, which is absolutely amazing that we we get this other one. But I mean, look at their faces. Like her face is just perfection. I think Kingpin's is <clears throat> actually my favorite. Uh, but, you know, just, you know, everything about this set. Bullseye, I think, is going to be my weakest one out of all of this, um, out, of, out of this whole set. Uh, but, you know, the rest of these guys are just uh, absolutely amazing. The, the accessories, again, the accessories are just kind of uh, crazy for what we usually get. Like, uh, I guess we've been getting a lot more uh, better uh, accessories since we, you know, got these fancy boxes and they kind of changed how they're doing things. Uh, but you know, like <laughs> this is, it, it's great. It really is, is great. Um, let's look at each individual, uh, figure. Okay. So I think we're going to start out with, uh, my least favorite, uh, of the group. Uh, that doesn't mean that he's a bad figure or he's not worth owning or it's not going to be awesome owning him. Uh, he's just my weakest of, uh, you know, the, the, the five, six almost, <laughs> with uh, D-Man, but yeah, uh, he, so Bullseye, first off, not a big fan of the, the comic uh, design here, I'm sure it's from something specific, if anybody, if any of you guys like have read this comic that some of these figures are based on, uh, just go ahead and like talk about it in the comment section, actually, I'd kind of appreciate it, uh, so I don't have to look it up on Wikipedia or anything, um, but anyways, uh, yeah, just not a f that big of a fan of the, the costume design. Honestly, if you guys are missing, like, the classic, uh, you know, bullseye and you want something closer to the original design, I would, you know, you could easily change out the pants for the, for something that matches uh, his shirt. Uh, his, you know, at his elbows to his hands, that does come off, and I'm sure you could find something color matching in there. Um, and then you're pretty much right on. You take that brown... Uh, you know, whatever that uh, holster is that he's wearing over his body, whatever that thing is, uh, you take that off and, and you're pretty much uh, got the original bullseye. Just an idea if some of you would rather have that. Uh, but a couple of the issues are the gun. He doesn't hold the gun very well. And that happens from time to time. Guns are, are, or knives or whatever are too small for the, the hands to where he can't hold them. I, uh, I'm going to try to get a cool pose with him holding that gun, but I'm going to have to like squish that hand down or something. So it just slides right out. Like I couldn't get it, you know, in the, in the short time I was making this video, I couldn't get it to hold it. Uh, the other thing is, uh, you know, he's got that cool hip piece and I'm sure it's comic accurate. It is a very nice hip piece. I will say that. Uh, I think it would look really cool on Punisher actually, if you're looking for a Punisher costume. Uh, you know, just to, just to kit bash something, change things up. Uh, but you know, with his gun on there, you can't really bend that leg forward or backwards without bending uh, that out. And look at the, look at the knife too. I mean, it's, it's pretty tight in there. Uh, again, it's, 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 I'm sure the cost, you know, the, the from the comic, you know, pretty much a faithful interpretation of it. So it makes sense that it's there. Uh, it looks good. Uh, but you just kind of have to fiddle with it if you wanted some articulation. Uh, and of course, his face look, looks great. Uh, of course, I'll wait for him to be looking away from the camera when I say that. But, uh, you know, the one thing that I'm going to talk about a lot on this is, is the heads. The faces look amazing. Uh, they threw that. It's not even just the, the fact that the bullseye's on there, just the eyebrows and just the devious look uh, in his eyes. It looks really good. You know, like I said, I may be a little bit, a little critical of this, this figure. Um... But it is a great figure. You know, I'm, I'm happy owning it. It's cool. I got another maybe like fourth version of Bullseye. Because I think we got the ones way back when the when the line first started 20 years ago. Uh, and did we get a battle damaged one? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm thinking of battle damaged Daredevil. This might only be the third one. Uh, God, I really have to think about that. Um, but yeah, it's great to have them. Uh, and we got that slipcover mask. Those are always the best. Uh, way to go with uh, something like that where the eyes and the face are cut out you know and it looks great you can see his eyes pretty easily underneath there uh, it looks just like bullseyes you know it's it's great uh, 
anytime they don't do a slip cover mask for a, where the you can see that face and eyes man does it bother me like it just never looks right uh this right here is like perfection really it just it looks awesome uh let's go on to another figure all right so for our next figure we got uh kingpin here um you know this is such a great figure you know the the, the suit uh to have him you know and in, in a different suit we have that great uh one that's kind of loosely based on the 90s a couple of the colors are different than the 90s animated spider-man uh that's just a great figure to have but this one is so much darker more menacing like if you're doing kind of a more frank miller than than cartoonish uh you, you know picture or whatever this one is so much better like this guy is so much more this version of kingpin is so much more menacing uh, than the other one uh, that we have. The other two we have, actually. Let, let's actually, let's put the other uh, two kingpins we already have uh, with him and see what it looks like. And oh my, how far have we come since the original uh, Mini Mate figures. I mean, look at that kingpin. Like, look at how much smaller he is compared to the other two. Uh, that molded piece, you can like you see the back of it. It's so bulked out or whatever compared to, you know, the, the these other two. Uh, this new one is actually like, look how much taller uh, the one in the black jacket, the, the brand new one is, uh, even than the 90s uh, Kingpin is. Like, this is this is an improvement. I just was originally, you know, I, I talked in the beginning of the, the video how I'm kind of really like uh, extra, you know, just different versions of different figures. Um, I kind of thought these two would be equal to me, but, you know, the newest one, I like him even, like, way better than, even than... Uh, the 90s animated one uh, over the, you know this the second one we got uh, he's so much cooler the face is so much more darker uh, more menacing um, like I get he's yeah, like I said he's more imposing he's much taller uh, definitely more of a you know dark daredevil uh, you know tone of a, a, a picture so uh, well done on him too so like I said this typhoid Mary uh, she looks fantastic, you know, just that the way the, the face and hair are, uh, the, the hair mold, and then the way they painted her face, it just looks fantastic, it just looks great. Uh, those shoulder pads, actually, this is, might be the first time I've seen that on a Mini Mate, but those shoulder pads, are they a, s a solid piece? Hold on a second. So yeah, that's kind of wild, it's like, it not only sits on her neck, but it, it's all one piece, it sits on her shoulders, that is very, uh, very different, I actually really like it uh wolverines you know shoulder pads like that uh, they never sit right i actually glued i glued some of my hot mine on i just take it for granted i will never sell my mini mates especially my x-men mini mates so i glued his shoulder pieces on just so they would stay in the right place uh but i really like this piece it, it probably doesn't impede the neck articulation a little bit uh but just having the ability of smaller shoulder pads i think it looks uh, really good uh, will look really good on future figures too. Um, yeah, she just, it's, I really like her character. I don't even have that many comics with her in it, but, uh, the, the Bendis run, it might even been Brubaker, uh, run she was in, uh, was really good. Uh, her other character design, this, I actually made a custom of that. Let's look at that real quick. So yeah, there it is. That's, <laughs> that's my, uh, a custom uh, Typhoid Mary. And I'm always happy to get new figures. I did mention that I like uh, redos, but man, I really like uh, finally getting original characters we've never had before, uh, official versions. And then this, like I said, this is from um, Marvel Comics Presents uh, with Daredevil and Wolverine. About, like, it's the weirdest, it's the weirdest, like, crossover ever. It's Ghost Rider, Wolverine, and Typhoid Mary. And it went on for, like, a while, too. Uh, so it's really crazy that they gave us this version of her. Um, just, yeah, it's awesome. It's really cool to get her. Uh, just I just love the, the face they gave us for her. So uh, let's go on to another figure. Uh, and real quick, actually, before I go back to uh, the, go to the next figure, I will say that neck piece does not impede articulation very much. Like, it does a little bit, uh, but you can still get a good head tilt out of her, uh, which is very uh, exciting. Like, it's not... She has something around her neck, and for once it doesn't impede um you know articulation too bad uh just kind of gives gives her life with her head tilted like that uh looks looks great so um yeah let's get on to the next character all right so we have uh our daredevil uh figure um 
He also comes with some amazing fig, uh, amazing accessories. Uh, that I can't wait to see what I can do uh, with that. Uh, the Billy Club uh, with the rope extended out. Um, that should be amazing. I hope I can figure it out because, like, why would it be like that? Unless I guess he's kind of web got the web slinging thing going on. I like how my camera or gets out of focus when it comes past. Ah, uh, yeah, it's just a really great accessory. They've been killing it with accessories lately. Actually, there's a Spider-Man uh, box set coming, and we have like two or three different new web accessories uh, in that, which uh, we've always wanted. We, we, you know, we. That's like one of the big things for uh, figures and, and stuff, especially these reusable ones. You know, it's like the Fantastic Four came with all new extensions, all new hands for Reed. Like uh, there were new accessories in there. Uh, but some of them are not like the Reed ones won't work with his other figures, which kind of stinks. Uh, we definitely, uh, you know, like I said, we get really good accessories, and uh, these especially you can use with any Daredevil. Uh, we also have the sonar effect. Mine is all curved, uh, looks like a piece of tomato. <laughs> it's been lay laid out in the sun or something. Uh, it, it's pretty easy to flatten those out. Uh, so basically, I'll get it all hot with some water and then put it in my freezer with something squishing and flat. Uh, and it should be fine after that. Uh, but both, like I said, both accessories, these are like much needed quintessential Daredevil accessories. They work for everything. You know, it's about time we got them. Uh, I appreciate that they're finally doing it. Uh, it's great. It really is great. Um, actually, I'm going to take those off just because it's kind of distracting. So yeah, there he is with his hair piece. Um, <laughs> I will say, this Daredevil may actually go down as uh, my favorite uh, Daredevil that we have. Um, I really like the Daredevil figures they've g given us. We've got a battle damage one. We got uh, a couple, uh, just the quintessential red costume ones that uh, were very well done. I really love those figures. They're fun to use. Uh, but I have always loved the yellow and red costume and the fact that this is like almost brown it's so red probably is brown uh i actually like the look of this uh even better than it normally looks yeah it's kind of a brown with the, the red highlights and stuff um but like i said this may end up being my favorite uh, daredevil we get um the face is pretty good too glad i brought it up when it was turning around backwards so we can see our pepperoni um yeah, the, the, the face looks good. The glasses look good. This would work for uh, Cyclops, too, if you really wanted to. Uh, but I just, the, the tone around the black and the eyes, uh, it just looks really, uh, really nice. Uh, another another great figure. Um, like I said, uh, this is going to be, good chance it's going to be my favorite Daredevil in the long run. So uh, let's go on to our, oh, actually, we're not even done with him yet. So, yeah, here we go. We have... This is like their little figure they slipped in for us, and I absolutely love it. Like, uh, uh, this is D-Man. Uh, do you guys know who D-Man is? You don't? That's fine. You should, probably should know who he is. Like, you really got to hit the deep cuts to know who D-Man is. Like, he's such a ridiculous character. Uh, again, I can't remember if it was Brubaker. It might have been, I think it was Brubaker because it was later in that run. Uh, but Daredevil, uh, D-Man was in Daredevil for some issues. Uh, and he was just kind of like this pathetic homeless guy at the time uh but he was an avenger at one point in time uh i think the d stands for demolition man um but for whatever reason he dresses like daredevil and then the wolverine mask i can't remember if he's a big fan of both of them uh, i actually uh put that that f extra head on him i don't know who that head is uh, i can't remember whose face that is um but I, it just suits. It really suits uh, <laughs> this ridiculous character. Uh, normally, you know, Daredevil would have the two Ds on the front. And for whatever reason, we have the, the, the single D, uh, which is for Demolition Man. And then I don't think Demolition Man had uh, the billy clubs on his hip. Uh, so I took that off. Uh, I will end up using him uh, for a picture. But I just absolutely love that they threw him in there. Because he's such a... Just, he's a r really ridiculous character. He really is. Like, he just... Um, I just... It's, it's kind of dumb. He's just kind of dumb. And then, like, when they used him in Daredevil, they just kind of used him and made him into this great... They made him into a cool character. Like, not in a good way. He was very, like, kind of sad that he was homeless and all this other stuff after being an Avenger. But, like, they did a good job with him. He was... I think he was always kind of mentally ill. Um, 
And then the crazy thing is he ends up turning into uh, one of the, the Thunderbolts. And he's like this crazy dark character like he was and he was pretty popular his marvel legends was like a huge deal when it came out the toy uh toy photography community but um like i just it still just blows my mind they gave us uh custom parts to give us a d-man and like i said that that face i can't remember who that face is i should know who it is i can't remember maybe it's scott lang or something like that um but it just fits with uh d-man so well that uh, i put it on there uh and i will be taking some pictures Maybe him being homeless, maybe him being in the Avengers, I don't know. But he's going to have that uh, look on his face. So I just I just think it's wild they gave it to him, gave us to him, gave him to us. Um, anyways, let's go on to our final figure. Okay, so then there's this beauty. Um, this figure, and I kind of knew it before I got it. But like if I were, if I had, I someday I, I should pull one together. But uh, if I have a top five greatest mini mates of all time. Uh, I will, I would put this figure on it. Uh, the hair piece, I mean, the face is good looking. Like, all the faces on this look great. Uh, really does encapsulate uh, Electra, but it's, like, not even the greatest part of this. I mean, look at that hair piece. That's insane, the mold that they gave us for this thing. And then to have everything, uh, like, her, her sash blowing in the wind, uh, it just looks amazing. These are great extra parts. I don't even know if we can reuse them, but the fact that we got them uh, is pretty amazing. Um, her scarf... Uh, that goes over her face. I, I wanted you guys to see the hair piece. Get a good look at the hair piece quick before I put uh, her other, her, her cowl on. Yeah, guys, like, oh, I'm going to push it back down a little bit more. <laughs> and there we go. Um, this is a beautiful figure. Like, I can't wait to get this thing in front of the camera uh, and just figure out what I'm going to do with it. I'm sure there will be a rooftop scene. Maybe there will be a leaping scene. I don't know. Uh, but they just did such a fantastic uh, job with this with this figure. Uh, I'm very happy with it. The funny thing is, uh, <laughs> the funny thing is, originally it's supposed to be a six pack. It's supposed to be. Um, it was supposed to be Echo, the comic version of Echo from the David Mack and and um, I think it was Bendis uh, run. But uh, Echo in the comics. Is actually a really amazing character. Like she was in Daredevil, she debuted in Daredevil, and the the story with her being adopted by the Kingpin uh, is all like real and stuff. And I always thought it was kind of dumb, actually, because it's like, so he adopted this girl, and she's an assassin. We never heard of her before. Like he was, with, she was with him for years or something. It just didn't make that. That part didn't make much sense. But the character is amazing. She has the same powers as Taskmaster. You know, she sees uh, some kind of fighting style and and. Uh, and she can mimic it perfectly. Uh, you know, she is uh, mute. She can't talk. She's deaf. Um, but that's about it. Like, she's just, she's deaf and mute. And she's a Native American woman. And um, it's just a great character. The story is great. Uh, and then eventually she ends up joining the New Avengers underneath uh, the Roman, a uh, Ronin costume, like uh, Hawkeye's Ronin costume. Um, but she was originally supposed to be in this beautiful costume design. The character's co costume design in the comics was absolutely amazing. Very cool. Uh, and, you know, this this five-pack, uh, they had to cut a character. If I had it my way after seeing this Electra figure, I probably would have ditched Bullseye. Originally, uh, I wanted this Electra figure gone uh, in, in place of Echo. Like, if I had to pick one, I would go with this one. Uh, just because, uh, God, now I'm off on another tangent. I don't like when they take, <laughs> I don't like when they take our favorite characters like Daredevil or Elektra and say, hey, what would Daredevil be like? Or no, what would Elektra be like if she's actually Daredevil? And like, that's like a 12 issue year or two run of Elektra being Daredevil. It's like extremely unoriginal to me. It's like one of the reasons why I stopped buying comics in general. I was because of how original, unoriginal it got. Um, I was done with Daredevil long before uh, this came along, or long before I stopped collecting comics. But like when I stopped collecting comics, I've talked about this in other videos. Like my biggest issue was okay, we got a Wolverine, and then we have Dakin, and then we have X twenty three. That's not so bad. We got like three different Wolverine characters. There is like Clone and his kid, so it makes sense. Uh, but then all of a sudden, we had like. Five extra X-Men. We had the five original X-Men as teenagers in a world where most of the other X-Men 
we're still alive. That doesn't make any, you know, it's like how unoriginal. Now we got two sets of X-Men, plus we got like this these three Wolverines. And then by then there's like five or six different Wolverines, like Honey Badger is like the ultimate version, the James or some crap, like that character. Um, you know, even Hulk, at one point in time, they, hey, how about a Hulk? Let's do a Hulk, only let's make him a Wolverine-like character. And it all got unoriginal. And like, some of this stuff was good. Like they had... Okay, now we got uh, who's the ones that was good? Thor. We're gonna let's do a lady Thor. Let's do a Thor only a girl, and we'll have Thor there, and we'll also have girl Thor there. And then that was really good with with Jane Foster's uh, female Thor. But for the most part, all those unoriginal characters, uh, I really did not like. And normally, this this figure here, the fact that we have an Elektra uh, being Daredevil, normally I really hate this, but I really love this this figure uh, just because it's so well done um again i'm sure you guys that have read it maybe read the comics like it and that's great i if you if you like it i'm glad somebody likes it uh but i see i want to see electra's electra i don't want to see her as daredevil uh i don't want to see daredevil's anybody else uh, i don't want to see bucky be captain america i don't want to see sam be captain america i want to see steve rogers be captain america um I just don't, it all just got so jumbled up there for, for years. And now I haven't collected comics in so long. I don't know what's going on, but they're still doing this. They're definitely still doing, hey, what if we had Electra only? She was Daredevil. She was the woman without fear. Um, I just, it's so unoriginal. Uh, but anyways, yeah, they got rid of Echo. I'm so disappointed. Uh, I was hoping maybe she would show up sometime in the future since her, her parts are molded uh, or whatever they call it. Um, tooled her, her parts are tooled i would hope that they would include her some someday again uh the tv series is definitely not helping um i have not watched it's like the only it's only disney plus i haven't even watched like a minute of it uh the, the uh, echo series uh and i just actually no i've seen other people review it and they've showed me stuff to where i'm just like i just don't want to do it i she was a cool character in Hawkeye. That's my favorite Disney Plus series. I realize I'm in the minority with that one. Um, but, like, I just don't even want to start it. She's, she's got the leg thing going on, which I don't even understand. She doesn't have the same powers. She calls on her ancestors. There's a bunch of, like, old old women throwing people around with super superpowers in some of the commercials I, I saw. The fight choreography is some of the worst. It is the worst fight choreography I think I've ever seen you know, in a TV show just from the commercials. So I have seen, like, the trailer just because I wanted to see that. And you just kind of, like, look at it and be... You just kind of wonder if they accidentally sent, like, the almost finished, almost perfectly choreographed one, like, take seven out of, like, 200. It just doesn't look right. Like, I just... The, the fight scene with her and Daredevil just looks terrible. So I haven't even started it. I don't think I'm going to watch it. It's too much of a letdown. Uh, she's a cool character. I really like the actress that plays her. She does a good job. Uh, Daredevil and Kingpin being in it is pretty awesome, but uh, I just don't know if I'm going to take the time. Uh, but anyways, all that to say, I really wish we could have got that six six figure. Hopefully the failure of the TV show or the, you know, if people, I don't know if it's failure, but hopefully just people, hopefully they give us the figure uh, if the show or the character doesn't take off. Uh, it would just be nice to see Echo uh, somewhere down the line. But anyways, that's it. That's like all five characters, uh, six including D-Man. I think it's time for some toy photography. Uh, let's start setting these up for some pictures. All right. So uh, actually before this shot, we did a uh, bullseye, uh, just a nice close crop, uh, close up of him. Um, I tore it down, completely forgot to record it. That happens sometimes, but you guys would have saw that uh, you know, before would have saw the picture at the beginning of this video. Uh, but anyways, we're just uh, kind of moving on to another character. I would really like to get everybody in here. Um, so we're uh, going on to D-Man. Uh, and basically, uh, D-Man, you know, I, as I mentioned before, just very, like, kind of deep cut. I wouldn't say the deepest of cuts uh, character, but not a lot of people know who he is. And there's this really good story with him. Uh, you know, he used to be an Avenger, and, and in this story, he's actually homeless. Uh, and Ben Yurick, he actually uh, f tracks him down and finds him. It's I can't remember if it's Brubaker run or what, what run that was, but uh, 
It was just kind of, they did a really good job, uh, Bendis and Brubaker, in, in bringing just these most obscure characters uh, into into Daredevil, and this is one of them. Uh, and this is just, like I said, this is just an ode to it. Uh, I'm willing to bet we'll see some, at some point in time, see some D-Man Avengers pictures. I don't think it'll be this video, but um, we'll definitely be using him, uh, just because I think it's fun to use such a um, odd and obscure character. Uh, let's go on to another uh, figure. All right, so yeah, these are really turning out good. I'm really enjoying uh, just how these pictures, you know, they're they're all going pretty good. They're very sharp, very clean looking. Uh, you know, the bullseye one you missed and this, the, the previous D-Man one are pretty good. But uh, I wanted this Typhoid Mary, even though, you know, she's here as a Daredevil villain, uh, I really wanted to feature the, um, the Marvel Comics Presents team up between these three. Uh, it turned out really good. It'll be a tightly cropped picture. Uh, we got Wolverine in the background attacking from behind. And then we have Typhoid Mary actually controlling uh, Ghost Rider's chains. I don't know what that's all about. I just saw it in a, um, on a comic panel from the classic uh, comics. But um, yeah, just getting a nice uh, clean shot with these three. Uh, turned out pretty good. I'm very happy with it. Uh, I got uh, Ghost Rider's uh, you know, head lit up with this. Um, you know, with one of my, my colored lights on um, that telescoping, whatever you call it, uh, just to help direct the light. Uh, and then I've been using a laser pointer to light up uh, Typhoid Mary's flame effect on the end of her hand. I had to elevate Wolverine a little bit. I uh, got him up on a stand and then just filled in the background with some cool looking rocks. So, turned out pretty good. Let's move on to another character. Okay, so yep, got another great shot. I uh, wanted to do one uh, mostly about Kingpin. I was going to just do him doing a pretty cool uh, stance in a back alley, uh, but it just kind of morphed into this Daredevil versus uh, Kingpin uh, shot. And I think it turned out pretty good. I really like it. Um, you know, we got Daredevil up on a wood doll. Seems like it's been forever since I've used that. Uh, we are going to use it again uh, pretty soon, but. Um, yeah, it seems like it's been forever since I've done that, so it's kind of fun to use it again. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I just got my, you know, background, keeping it dark, so it looks like nighttime uh, that these two are, are battling it out uh, in this back alley. Uh, yeah, it turned out pretty good. Really like it. So uh, let's go on to another shot. All right, so this is a must-have, uh, must-do must shot, uh, especially with, you know, this new accessory. <clears throat> Uh, you just got to have him doing his, like, swinging through the city, uh, whatever Daredevil calls his web slinging. I'm sure he has a different name for it. Uh, but just filling in the background uh, with some buildings, again, uh, keeping it, you know, looking like it's nighttime. Uh, and I got this, like, church-looking uh, deal from, uh, what what's it, uh, Hobby Lobby. Uh, and I always like to implement it in my Daredevil shots just because, uh, you know, it's the whole being a Catholic thing is, is kind of his thing. Uh, and just, yeah, like I said, just getting them in there, uh, get the wooden doll in there, lighting up the background with, uh, the red light just to give some tone back there. Uh, and it turned out pretty good. So, uh, we got one more shot. Let's go to that. And our last shot, uh, <laughs> Uh, this video definitely went on a lot longer than I thought it would. I didn't even get to use Daredevil's, like, new effect at all. Uh, I will definitely be coming back uh, to these figures uh, very soon, whatever that means. Um, they will definitely be in one of my my uh, Masterwork setup videos uh, coming up. Just because there's a lot to do with these guys. And like I said, this video is probably got like 35 minutes long, 40 minutes long already. I think I rambled on too long in the beginning. Uh, but we definitely got some cool shots. We definitely got uh, we got we got shots of each character. Uh, mission accomplished. Um, but I just uh, I just really wanted to do something with all these because they're all great figures. Even this this Electra figure that I said I don't really care about that much. Uh, just her her effects uh, or the the uh, you know waving uh, you know sashes and whatnot. It just it's such a great character and, and it's the one I wanted the least. And it's funny bullseye. Uh, Definitely turned out to be my least favorite of the bunch, even though he's still pretty rad. So uh, definitely a fun video, definitely a fun set. I would go pick it up if I were you guys, if you're a Marvel fan at all, even if you're not. Uh, looking forward to using that Daredevil. Uh, you know, that uh, it's always been my favorite colors, uh, color scheme for him, even though it's the least used. Um, but yeah, man, great video, guys. Uh, hit the like and subscribe button. Check out the description of the video for my Instagram and Facebook 
uh, pages, and we'll see you guys at the next video. Bye now.